What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today we're going to be opening up a uh, Luck & Logic uh, Growth and Genesis box. So yeah, this is the English version of the Luck & Logic box. I've never opened up one of these before, so I'm going to have to try to uh, get used to the uh, rarities and everything on this. So forgive me if we have, you know, a few different times where I'm going to have to double check and make sure I'm saying, uh, you know, correctly on this. Because this is a brand new card game, so I'm trying to learn it and everything. I have a better idea of the card game now since the trial deck openings, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a learning experience for the first couple of videos of this uh, of this game so if you guys want to see more of this game let me know in the comments like this video too if you would like to see more of it and uh, we can continue doing updates on this uh, card game on this channel so yeah just tell me in the comments but yeah I got this from uh, Big and Collectibles they sent me this box to do an opening on so be sure to check them out link in the description really awesome store they have obviously uh, the new luck and logic stuff they have Card Vanguard, Yu-Gi-Oh! and other card games too so be sure to check them out so we have the girls from the trial decks on the front of this, as well as uh, some other characters on the sides. Everything, show you guys everything on this. And uh, yeah, let's open this up and see if we have some good luck. First off, I know it's kind of a funny thing, but I like the design of this box. I know it's kind of a different thing to point out, but it's, it's kind of cool. You know, it's something different, and I like it when new card games do something a little bit different to kind of make themselves... I don't know, they, they just kind of change the formula nice enough to see the same box over and over and over for every card game. So this one is a little bit more... Well, I'm kind of messing up the... There. <laughs> I'm trying not to mess it up when I set it all up, but like the cards are sideways and this is being stacked up. So it's a pretty cool thing. And all this, I believe this is a rule book sort of thing. Yeah, it's like a introduction to the game. I'll go ahead and unfold it all the way. Show you guys part of this. Looks like basically what we saw from the trial deck. Oh yeah, it even has some... Uh, some deck recipes for this to help you out. That's really cool that they actually include something like that. So if you want to learn the game, you can actually get one of these boxes and probably be able to play the game. I think you would be able to get enough stuff to uh, to do that. Of course, the safe bet is always the trial decks, but uh, yeah, it looks like this could actually be possible. And even a card list. That's really cool to include that. I think more card games should do that. We also get a promo card, uh, which is... Uh, Abby Moore Twin Cascades. Is it just one card in there? Let me double check. It's one of, It's a gate card, too. Let's see. I'm going to get the plastic off of it. It's always fun to get one card out of plastic. And there we go. There is our promo card that you get with this. I guess I would call it a promo card. And, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. It's a gate card because of the black for the, the back of the card. That's how you can tell. And I guess we'll just start from the back and go from there. So here's what the packs look like. And they open up kind of like hard fight packs and everything too. You just tear off the corner. And let's see. I, I like the artworks of these too. It's kind of like, uh, like I said, a lot like Y Schwartz, honestly. So far we have some commons and uncommons. Then we have a, uh, this one is a double rare. That's cool to start out with. And uh, let's see, her name is uh, Six Fifths uh, Cena. So the, the names are on the side. I should, I guess, hold these kind of different because I'm kind of covering up the names, but uh, there we go. And then we have a Paradox card. You get a Paradox card per pack. Kind of like you get the Climax cards for uh, Y Schwartz. So it's pretty cool. Starting off with the Double Rare is always good. Like I said, I might be a little bit slower on opening some of these up because I'm trying to make sure... You know, I'm not really used to this game yet on everything, so... Besides, the artworks are so cool. And what do we have here? This one is another double rare for us. Oh, back to back. And this one is uh, Power Bond uh, Tamaki. So there we go. That's cool. Oh, there we are. Bunch of different commons again, and then at the bottom of this one, this one is a rare, and that is uh, stirring up trouble, uh, Chloe. And also, you can tell the rarity at the bottom, kind of like with a card fight and my short stuff. Same rarities, I guess, for these, where you have, uh, I believe you can also get a signed card from this set, but there are rares and double rares and different things too, so just in case people are wondering where uh, it says that. And that name with that card. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm not reading off the name. You guys probably saw it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too embarrassing to say in a YouTube video, that's for sure. 
family friendly. <laughs> I try to be. Let's see, uh, we have a rare which is uh, Mastery of the Air Leap uh, Aoi. Uh, yeah, I think that's how you say that. AOI. So, it's pretty cool looking. I believe she's supposed to be one of the better cards to get to, from what I've heard. I've heard some different things about the, the next of cards. I'm not really sure what I'm going to build, and I'm probably just going to use the trial decks for a while, to be very honest, until I get a better grasp of the game. So I'm not really sure what are some of the best cards to get from this set just yet, but hopefully we'll get them. We have a rare, which is uh, Carnage Leg Senna. That's cool looking. I like the artwork of this one. She's really cool looking. Has like a... Is that a sword? Yeah. Yeah, well, sword to sword. That's the name of it, so... <laughs> I guess that kind of says it for itself, right? It looks like a spear, but it's the handle to the sword. Kind of look different. That's what threw me off. And for this one, this is another rare, and that is uh, Full-Blooded Sweets uh, Aoi. Again, I hope I'm saying that name correctly. Japanese names, they are not the easiest for me to say. I need to have like a class on saying Japanese names. <laughs> That's what I need, some kind of class or something on that. That would make things easier. We have a, another rare, and that is uh, Ready to Go Yoshi Chika. And uh, also, we have a uh, Paradox card which has a holographic to it. That's cool looking. Okay, that is a Bloodbath uh, Coliseum. I think it's just like a rare holographic. I don't think it's a uh, crazy rarity. I don't know. Actually, I'll put it to the side just because it is a Paradox card that is holographic. Why not? And it looks like, yes, we have a signed card. Now that is awesome. We were able to get a Super Tiger Claw Chloe. Maybe this is the one I should go with then and build back around Chloe because she's one of the trial decks and all too. And again, a signed card is really awesome. So that is an SP. And uh, yeah, that looks really cool. Hopefully you guys can see the signature. They're always really tough to, to show on at least my camera. So yeah, kind of use the light a little bit. You can see, uh, really cool. I mean, again, it's like White Schwartz and get signature cards basically. Which is uh, pretty awesome. I like the way the, the holographic feels too. It's like an ultimate rare from Yu-Gi-Oh sort of feel where you can feel the holographic like a foil card. You can just tell that they're awesome when they're like that. I wish more holographic cards were like that. And let's see, a rare and that is a girl that likes sweets. Uh, Zalin. And she has like donuts or something. Yeah, and muffins. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Let's see. We have a uh, uncommon holographic on this one, so that's pretty cool. I guess I'll read off the name. It is a Personification of Battle Asura. It's really cool looking. Like a Sir's Wrath, right? <laughs> and uh, then we have this guy. He definitely can't be a good guy. It's a rare, and that is a Fierce God uh, Rosetsu. I don't know if he's a good guy or not. I haven't. I've only seen like the first couple episodes of the anime, so I'm not really sure if he appears in the anime or what. But uh, it looks awesome. <laughs> like the artwork and stuff for him. And I guess since it's a rare, I guess we'll still keep it in the stack of cards. There's another Bloodbath Coliseum. So he's the dude on that card. And just pick up one of these. There we go. We have a uh, rare, which is uh, driving them away, Ashley. Well, that's easy to say. She's like in a Yoshi costume, is what it looks like. And then we have another uh, Paradox card. This one looks like a Paradox rare, I assume. I'm trying to find the rarity on these cards. I think it... Er, yeah, I think just a holographic version of it, and that's slow wave. So we got an, a common version of it. I'll still put it aside. 
since Paradox cards I think will look really nice. I like that. In the future we'll, you know, decide on how we want to separate cards in these. Probably just have higher rarities in the future, but I just like the way the Paradox cards look. We have another rare, and that is Soaring in the Blue Skies uh, Sea Guard. There we go. Only a few packs left. Let me actually put them out of the box like that. It's kind of tough to reach into the box around the camera. Even though I still like the box design. Like I said, they went for something different. Which is always a plus. Well, we have our card. There we are. <laughs> it's stuck behind that one. And that is a uh, rare, and that is uh, full of conviction, uh, Yoshi Chika. I like the swords that he's using. Those look really cool. Another uh, Paradox card. Still still want to say Climax card. Like Y Schwartz. Have to get used to it. Well, there's another card that's stuck there. Oh, okay, because it's a, a holographic common. And that is a Musical Performance Training uh, Tabaki. That's really cool looking. And there, we have a, uh, another rare card, which is Achieving Her Goal, uh, Senna. Sometimes the, the rares kind of stick to the card in front of them. And let's see, another Holographic Common, which is Fighting Trance. And then another rare, which is a Youth of Sincerity, Sigard. I think I'm saying that name right, I hope so. Also, opening these packs, that the cards like that kind of make it awkward. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> of course, this card game's a little bit like that. Let's be real here. We have a uh, double rare, so that's awesome, and that is Extreme Destruction of Boxes, Aoi. <laughs> Destroy those boxes. Have something in common. Tear apart boxes and all these uh, openings and everything lately. <laughs> Special edition openings for Yu-Gi-Oh! like to rip them in half now. Those weights are, I guess those are weights, they're terrifying. We have a uh, holographic common. I guess I'll, yeah, I should read it off. It is a successor uh, Divine Music uh, Otohime. And then a rare holographic, which is uh, Indulging and Reading uh, Ashley. The easiest name to say. Oh, this card's stuck. There we are, and that is a rare belief in the occult Mako. I guess I say that. I'm not really sure on the pronunciation. I think that is correct. Two packs left. And for this one, it is a rare holographic, which is uh, full four strike Senna. And last pack. What do we end with? Let's see. There we are. And man, that looks awesome. That is a double rare. <laughs> I like the artwork on that. Just insane looking. It has all kinds of different swords, I think. Uh, that is a Forbidden uh, Overtrans uh, Yoshi Chika. Overtrance, yeah, that's supposed to be uh, really powerful. I don't know, from what I saw in the anime, I guess that's what the main character did at some point. And, uh, and it looks really cool. I need to watch more of the anime. I've only, like I said, seen, like, I think the first two episodes. So definitely check out the anime, though. Unfortunately, like I said, in the trial, uh openings, it doesn't really teach you the card game. It's like a, an action anime that the card game just kind of goes with. So unfortunately, it won't help you learn it. 
But yeah, there we go. That is our opening. We're able to get a sign card, which is always epic, no matter what kind of opening. It's always cool to get a sign card. An SP like that is just really awesome looking. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. And of course, uh, tell me in the comments if you guys are enjoying these Luck and Logic openings, if you want me to do more of them in the future, because uh, we already open up anything new that comes out for Carpet Vanguard, uh, Buddy Fight, uh, Force of Will, and Y Schwartz. But if you guys would like to also see openings on anything new that comes out for Luck and Logic, just let me know in the comments and like this video. I mean, those uh, two things can really uh, let me know if you guys would like to see more of that. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.